My name is Kateria Pertel and I'm a genetic counselor at the Seidman Cancer Center. Welcome to our video series. This morning I'll speak with you about variants of uncertain significance. We have thousands of genes which perform many functions in our body. They're very important in our health and overall well-being and play a role in many aspects of our life including how we look, our likelihood for developing different diseases, and even how well certain medications work in our body. The specific instructions for each of our genes is contained within our DNA, which might be thought of as our genetic building blocks. The specific DNA building blocks are represented by the letters A, T, C, and G. For the most part, everyone's DNA uses the same four letters to spell out the same genes, but there are some variations in the spelling of these genes. Some variants have no effect at all on the functioning of a gene and might simply mean the difference between, say, someone having brown eyes and someone having green eyes, while other variants do impact the way a gene works and are considered harmful and are called genetic mutations. It is important for anyone who is considering having genetic testing to be aware of the possible results they may receive from that testing. Many people are familiar with the result of a positive test result, meaning that a genetic mutation was identified. Alternatively, you can get a negative test result as well, meaning that no genetic mutation was identified. Many families will receive or receive a result called a genetic variant of uncertain significance. A variant of uncertain significance means that at the time of testing, the lab was unable to classify the genetic change as being a benign change, which does not impact your risk for disease, versus a harmful change or mutation, which can impact your chance of developing a disease. Because the lab is unable to interpret how this type of change may impact your medical care, because the lab is unable to interpret the meaning of this variant on your risk for developing a disease, a variant of uncertain significance is not considered a clinically useful result. This means that for anyone who gets this type of test result back, medical recommendations should not be made based on the information provided by this testing, but rather on that person's personal and family medical history. It is important that medical recommendations are not made based on this test result, as recommendations could be unnecessary and even potentially harmful in an individual whose variant is later discovered to be a benign variant. It is important that when someone receives this type of test result, they maintain contact with the medical provider who ordered this testing as it is possible that in the future, this type of result will be reclassified once the lab has obtained more information about the true impact on health. As part of the process of collecting more information about this variant, the lab may even wish to test relatives, other relatives in the family to see who does and who does not have this variant. Again, it is important to maintain contact with the medical provider who ordered the testing as more information becomes available about the impact of the variant, medical recommendations may be adjusted accordingly. Thank you.